notice this camera it doesn't move anymore so that's because we hit it on the way in Master 3000 good afternoon welcome to the stream how you doing buddy this is the other breaker reset it that'll be a big noise so you're going to want to hide in that locker there Now we have to up to initialize the distribution conduit. These are really picky to get into. I wish that Creative Assembly would fix this. The, uh, the activation range for that is very specific. Uh, yes, Master 3000 uh, is um, somebody that uh, I've, I've played along with, not Queen. Uh, Elite Dangerous, part of a wing. I don't think I don't think you've ever seen me stream anything else other than Elite Dangerous up until this point. Terminal. You want to get the chair out of the way? Very easy. Switch back to your flamethrower just in case Stompy comes down. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a thin Admin, smear. Online, Got it. You're headed for a place called Project KG348. Let me know when you're there. You'll be gone for a while? Yeah, no problem. That's absolutely no problem. So you came down for that. Whoop. Thank you very much, Knockwing. Come through to the stairwell. That's the working Joe has just introduced himself to uh, Alan. Again, there is a Locker that you can hide in there at the top of the stairs if you think he's coming after you. There's also another locker here. Pick up your map. Okay, thanks guys. Yeah, no problem. I'll be here for a while. Hello, reception. Can I help you? Right, so before you call this thing, you can come around this way and go up here. Dead body with more potential goodies on him. No ID tag, just goodies. However, now you've done that. Cool freight, and it moves it out of the way. So there's some fog and shit going on all over the place, but that's fine, that's cool. See, we can go through into the lobby this way.
Ta da! I noticed, you know, we've. Oh, there's a dead Joe here as well. Was that more here on the way in? Anyway, notice the camera is not moving either. However, now we've got the plasma torch, we can open this. Please don't mind the bullet in my head, yeah. Customer services, how can I help you? No, I'm sorry. Alan's not here right now. Now we can get through here. Why do we want to get through here? Well... Goodies. Again, that's, that's, that's all that there is here. And this particular bit. But, if we go back here... Shall we, uh, sh 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 shall we kill her, or shall we, shall we let her live? Answers on a postcard, please. It suffer. <laughs> See, we can't kill them. However, we can summon an Alan to do it for us. Was that, I, I thought you were <laughs> Lilla Lou. She's already died enough times. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Is there a? I tell you what, I will do. Right, let's take a noisemaker. Let's place it and then run. Deactivated. <laughs> One more time, it doesn't hurt. There we go. Stompy's there. He's fascinated with that thing. What is this strange bleeping box? Give it to her as a necklace! <laughs> yeah, just wear this and walk down that corridor, love. Yeah. Alan! Where have you been? Activate it. Hello, Alan. Time to play peekaboo! Look, let's see how close we can get to this fucker. <laughs> anyway. With the shenanigans over and done with. Deactivate it. Let's head to Project KG348. Now this is the bit that will make most people's sphincters tighten repeatedly. Twitchy Damage Inc. knows precisely what I'm talking about, as does Not Queen, as does Shy Star. <laughs> is it still after you? I think so. I got a plan. Head for the labs. Now there is stuff here. Uh, see, we can't collect anything, but there is stuff there. In this case, it's a flare and a sensor. Activate it. 
Ah, I see it's in the overheads. Right. Let's not screw about here. Uh, now, notice, restore power. You can use the security access point here. To unlock this elevator, which will take you to the Ren Sistec lobby. And that one will take you down to the Gemini Exoplanet Solutions uh, lobby we just came from. Die, camera. Speeding through it, yeah, yeah, the regular play is super hard. That's kind of what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the normal, everyday people. Ooh, actually, yeah, we can look. let's craft some more noisemakers. Let's craft uh, a replacement pipe bomb. So you notice we had all the components in place already. And now we can allocate more goodies. And let's do another EMP mine. Again, we had all the components already in place. And you can still allocate all the other goodies. So we're all maxed out on flares. So one of the cool things you can do is head this way. No, I wasn't calling you abnormal at all. <laughs> I said speedruns aren't for all of us. I, I couldn't possibly do a speedrun. Um, somebody was saying yesterday that I should probably do one. But no, I, I can't do it. The dexterity in my hands is it's not there. Um, as it says in my... Uh, my profile description. I, I do have multiple sclerosis, so you know, fast hand movements are just they're no, <laughs> not going to happen. All right, come through here. Oh look, there's a friendly guy on the floor here. Another ID tag. Overhead bins. How are you enjoying Sevastopol? Uh, I'm not. Thank you. I want to get off the shit box. Now, I love this terminal entry here. I think it's hilarious. Clark is dead. Last time I saw him, he was using some of the junk around the station to make explosives for protection. I told him to be careful, but when I got back from gathering supplies, there was just explosive damage and blood. I'm on my own now, so I'm going to come to you. Where are you? <laughs> it's a thin, a thin smear. Right, for balancing the values. Now... Notice, it's the top values there, 53 and 80, have got to match the bottom ones, 47 and 86. So, 47 and 86. There you go. And you only have to actually pay... You, you asked me that before. Are you, are you retarded? Alright, there we go. That's all those goodies. Pick up the key card. I think we did pick up the key card, yeah. Wow, how did you figure that out? Well, actually, Shystar87 that told me, so you can thank her. Festival, leaky window. I'm not retarded, I'm scripted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll go for that. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. So, why did I pick up the key card? Well, it's so that we can get in here. Manic1, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry, I've only just noticed. I, I am running on a single monster setup, so I don't have any following notifications other than what Chatty tells me. 
Why do we want to come in here? Well, for one, there's this thing. This, this part makes me think, wow, okay, that's kind of creepy and wrong. What should we play now? If you notice, uh, there's also a drawing, a very obvious child's drawing, shut up you, yeah, uh, of the alien um, murdering somebody and... Yeah, quite. Yeah, so, so obviously some kids have been horribly traumatised here. And judging by the blood spatters, probably more than just traumatised. It's a lovely little thought to think of, isn't it? Murdering kids. Probably on a watch list now. There's another audio log here. Seeks an executive ransom here. I'm sending over some samples for investigation. I want the minimum number of employees on this. Keep it on the down low and report only to me. If out, I'll make sure your career dies with Sebastopol. There are a lot of inconsistencies in Gemini's ledgers. Right by me, and I'll remember you. Whatever you're skimming now will seem like chicken feed. Do the smart thing. Mm hmm. So now we go through the door here with the plasma torch. Notice the gold bling ladder. These appear occasionally. I don't know. Maybe they just thought, well, you know, we've got to spend the money on something. Let's pimp the ladder. Warning detachable external module. I wonder what that could be a foreshadowing of. Uh, Alright, for a start, let's uh, select the flamethrower and reload. Ah, dog walkage. Mm. Oh look, it's the corridor full of nope. To the land of nope. Where lots of little nopes run around and murderinate people. It's okay, buddy. You're gonna make it. Right, there are floor vents all over this area. However, um... I've never actually found them to be particularly useful in a pinch. It takes too long to get in and out of them, and Alan can come running right after you. Okay, so let's loot all this stuff out. Right, all of these Molotovs. These are going to come in handy at this point. Notice I haven't used a single one up until now, because we've had the flamethrower. Right, that Joe there, notice his eyes are glowing. Crimson Hellkite and Shkugi. Uh Good afternoon, how are you doing? We're doing an alien isolation trainer enabled walkthrough for people who uh, have not uh, played the game through or have missed certain things on the first time through. Uh, it is uh, apparent when the trainer is uh, being activated. Um, and we're doing it so that we can uh, have, a, have a, a better look around Sevastopol and uh, check out things like ID tags, terminal entries, and whatever. So, a lovely drippy vent of doom. We're maxed on sensors. Okay, fair enough. Blasting cap, which we can't use right now, but we will be able to shortly. Alright, reset the breaker. Makes a shitload of noise. That's it. I can see a power spike. Now, reconnect the lab systems to Sebastopol from the console in okay. the central okay. lab. Floating We're garbage bin. You've never seen blood dripping down. Yeah, look, it's uh, and it's really thick stuff as well, so you can tell it's kind of congealed. 
again, see that that's one of the advantages of doing uh, a, like a trainer walkthrough is that you can actually take your time and, and sort of soak up the environment. Now you can come in here. Right, there are several vents in this room, so you want to take your Molotov. You want to place Molotov number one under that vent. Molotov number two, under that then. Molotov number three, under that then. Now, we've used them all. Still got one in reserve for crafting. Let's craft another one. Now there is one more vent here, which you can use with the Molotov, but we've got the we've got the flamethrower, so we've got one, two, three vents covered. So we only have to be paying attention to this direction. So presuming he's not chasing you already and you've had to chase him away, if you know, if in fact that is the case, you know, there are obviously plenty of lockers and stuff to hide in around here. God, my brain just completely blanked there. Deactivate. Activate it. Oh, wait, actually, it's a scripted section. Escape the lab. It's going to drop down. There we go, so he always drops down at that vent. Whoa, there we go, see? He's left a trail of destruction behind him. That scared him off. Let's walk it around this way. I'm sorry, my friend. Scripted sequence, engage! Spinning off into space, but that's okay. Next exit is this way. Fuck. Use the button. Have you ever trapped the agent that used the Molotov and watched them disappear in a poof of black smoke? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Is that where you sort of place Molotovs all around where he's going to drop down and he drop, goes up into a vent and it looks like he's disappeared? Or... I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I am referring to, uh, uh, to uh, Twitchy Damage Inc. who said, uh, no, he freezes his face burning and then just disappears. <laughs> See, I do love all the, sort of, like, the tips and tricks and bugs and stuff like that. I think it's really cool.
The Detective 86, thank you very much for your follow. Also, welcome to Mac Binger. Good afternoon, welcome to the stream. Uh, for anybody that has uh, missed the spiel already, uh, this is a trainer-enabled walkthrough in certain sequences. Uh, this is to allow us to properly explore Sevastopol, find IT tags, Nostromo logs, and so on and so forth, without the risk of Alan the alien dropping down and ruining our afternoon. Deactivated. So now we don't need the trainer anymore. Let's change out of this uh, bulky shit. Right, flame for her. Save it. Me. Go for your revolver. Is that you? Yes, wait. Me, you son of a bitch. You locked me in. You blew the lab into space. I had no choice. No choice at all. You saw that Let's thing. You craft. saw what it could do. I had to get it off the station. By any means necessary. Yeah. Use me as bait. <laughs> I mean to die. And it goddamn worked, Ripley. It goddamn worked. I got that thing. Jettisoned it into the gas Just giant. messing with cuddles. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll check that out. There's that. And there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. I'm heading back to the Bureau. We can discuss your methods there. Ripley out. By the way, uh, Twitchy, could you possibly uh, copy-paste the current viewer list? Because uh, Chatty seems to think there's nobody here. Despite the fact that there are 13 or so viewers, or at least it looks like. Right, you may notice this area from when we first walked through, before we met Axel. Uh, this part in here, that's Mike Tanaka on the floor there. You can find out the code for that locker in there from his Twitter feed. There are a couple of other goodies and an audio log in there as well. But you won't be able to actually get through the door until such time as you pick up the Ion Torch. So there's a dead guy here with a shotgun. So now we've got the shotgun. Pick up the key card. Why have we got a shotgun? You might might ask. A bit of foreshadowing there. Use the key card that you pick up off the dead body. Uh, yeah, how many people are actually in at the moment? Or is chat being blamed for everybody as well? I know it was being a bit uh, yesterday on Otter Gripper's stream. A couple of other people said they were having issues with it, so... Okay, so now we can use the plasma torch to cut through there. What goodies can we get in here? Remember, we couldn't get in here first time round. We can now. Charge back. Scrap. Some more revolver ammo. Some more blasting caps. Wow, look, there's loads of blasting caps here. And compound B and... Right, okay, so... Uh, yep, yeah, we're all full on those. We can't pick that one up. Just have to remember... Whoop, too dark. Just have to remember where it is for future reference. Fuck off you. Come with me, please. Yeah, none of that, thank you. And he's coming through the door as well. Okay, yeah, no, that, that kind of makes sense. Alright, dead Joes. Now, if you came through this area the first time round and you missed going in these, again, you can come in here and you can pick up goodies. Let's see, there's some more scrap on the floor in here. Can I pick it up? 
Yes, I can. Remember, that's where we said we were John and Ringo, heading to the immigration office. Now we can choose to save here if we want. We can't actually go up here anymore. This is actually being sort of close off notice, restore power. So we can't go that way, which is fine. However, the lift to the Solomon's Gallery, so the elevator to the Solomon's Gallery, is now available. to wait. <sighs> He's a ruthless son of a bitch. Always has been. Stubborn too. If he'd ever listened to me, things would never have gone this far. It's done now. I'm sorry for fucking up with the lockdown earlier. Forget it. You got Safe me out game here. I'll see you back at the bureau. Right, and it is at this point that I am going to uh, take a break and go and grab myself some lunch. However, I will be back later on this evening for me. Uh, just let me know, um, you know, either via uh, Twitch message or you know, when I pop back later on, if there's any part that you'd like me to revisit, and I will, uh, you know, show show you something that you may have missed. So ID tags, blueprints, etc. But for now, I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. I've been on for two and a half hours, and I haven't eaten today, so I am starving. So thank you to everybody for watching thus far, and uh, thank you to everybody else for uh, the follows. That's Detective Eighty Six, Manic One, and Wickedness for Thriven. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll I'll see you guys uh, a little bit later on. Thanks for watching.